Good morning everyone. In today's video, uh, we'll continue from where we stopped last lecture with the conceptual tower design in Dynamo. And uh, in the phase one, I just generated uh, the podium and the tower body mass for uh, just a 2D plane, uh, sorry, for just 2D line that you can have here in uh, Revit. And you just select those lines and Dynamo will immediately create for you the required uh, podium mass and the tower mass based on the setbacks you specified. That's what we was generating uh, in the previous lecture by knowing the event uh, <clears throat> masses and the shape of the, of the two parts of the tower that you are designing. In the second phase, uh, I will try to go ahead and detail each one of them to make more benefit out of the Dynamo script we have. So, in, for example, I'm going to take the podium and try to know the single plan area in a square meter and then know all the areas of that plan, how much we're going to have in square meter. Uh, of course, that will be very useful in uh, cost estimation. So you can link that to how much uh, floor finish or floor material you need or you go and change that into the uh, cost estimation of the building if you are depending on a uh, square uh, meter cost uh, then you can go ahead and define the podium volume or mass if you want to use a uh, cubic system uh, single plan a single plan per meter if you want to use uh, a, a, a length uh, units and that will ha help you to know you know any uh, length unit you're going to use in the system, for example, the skirting system. Uh, sum of all uh, parameters, uh, the sum of all parameters actually in the podium, and for the whole towers, and me that's multiply by the amount of levels you have in the podium. And finally, podium elevation if you want to clad it. So uh, you're going to multiply, of course, the parameter by the uh, height and the amount of levels you have to get the overall elevation area in square meter, and then. You can go ahead and uh, you know repeat that by uh, or do that for the tower itself, not the podium. So, in order to do that, I'm I'm actually finishing or actually starting from what I stopped last lecture in phase one, and I will go ahead and use a surface, and I will build a surface by patch. So. That will help me if I have the polygon here, which is this one, that get we gained it out of the setback. So I'm going to connect it to build a surface, and that we get a surface here. I'm just going to, you know, uh, get rid of it of the preview because all I need is surface area. And that's what I wanted. And in it, you're going to get this number. And that is what really I need because this is the, you know, this is the plan uh, area that represents actually the plan area for, uh, you know, the, the podium here. So if I go and select this polygon, you see that's the podium uh, per meter. And that will give me the area of the overall area of the built plan. Uh, anyway, uh, so who said it's correct? I just uh, I just have the setbacks here, and that's the that's the shape that I selected. I just took a copies and draw it again here and get myself uh, you know if I go back to Revit itself, that this is a three three point seven. So you can go ahead and do the calculation. Uh, it's just a three uh, thirty three point. 7 and we multiply it by 66 so you're supposed to get 2224.2 and that should be you know similar to having one floor uh, in uh, in here you see so we have a match so we are working uh, correctly so this is you just you know select them both and hit Control and G, and apply you know and say that that this is the plan. Uh, let's say it's a podium plan area, or actually single plan area, and I'm gonna measure it in square meter. So that's uh, that's the end up result for it. That's a single plan. That's what you can see here. 
Now, uh, th knowing that, if I, know, if I need to know how much the overall area is for all the podium, it's very easy, it's just to multiply A by B, where uh, A is the single plan, and B is the amount of levels you have for the podium itself. So I'm going to connect this to, you know, the inputs that we have done in the previous video. And of course we have here four podium levels and the podium level height is four. So that's, that's what we need for podium. So I'm going to connect this. I'm going to connect, I'm just get, getting that back to one level. So just to double check, so you get this uh, out of a number, which is the same as this, which is technically correct, which is multiplying one level by the height of, sorry, by the area of the, uh, you know, one, one plan. So that technically will be, let's just fix that or test that and make this two. So we have two levels here and that's in the podium and that gives us 448.4, that's true. So I'm just, uh, just testing the whole thing. And again, uh, I can just say it's a podium, uh, all plans area, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's all uh, plan areas, and it's also measured in square meter. So that will be useful for you to estimate, you know, that's the square meter that you have in this case. And you can just go ahead, multiply it by the S dollar. So you know how much, for example, uh, finishes you need for the floor, which is really important to know in the earlier phases of your design, which is good. Because you can click any of those profiles and this, this script will give you uh, all the podium areas and the volume and the elevation, uh, all the detail that we was talking about in the beginning. So that's, that's the first phase, which is knowing the areas. Now, if I want to know the volume for the overall thing, and of course, you're going to know, or actually going to need, uh, again, A by B. And it A will be a single area, as you can go ahead and pick for a single plan. And then you have to multiply it by the height of each level and the amount of levels. So again, you need to know height, and then you need to know the levels. You multiply those two things. Uh, by each other so we have here for example we have four meter as uh, uh, the height for a single level and then you have to take the number of levels uh, to the consideration that give you I think eight so you multiply that by eight and you get this dude here and it will be represent a very basic uh, podium uh, let's say podium volume or mass I don't know what you want to call it and it's measured by by cubical uh, meter uh, again that's uh, that's the number you're gonna have and if you are using this in your estimation you're gonna get now exactly how much the volume you have for your uh, for your building for your podium actually now uh, let's do the elevation if I know I need to know how much the area of the elevation again I will use now uh, the per meter so I need to know the length of this dude all right so what do I have it's just a polygon or curve so I'm gonna use uh, I don't know let's say curve dot per meter I don't know which one to be honest so yeah maybe this one so that's uh, for a surface beautiful and I have a surface this one here right in the ground I'm just gonna get this it to it I think that is the same thing for a curve I'm not really quite sure I think this one isn't it no that's also surface anyway too lazy to find it uh, in the previous one I was trying to do the you know, when I was trying to do the test uh, for this video, before I do this video, I think I used the curve one. But anyway, I have no, no problem using the surface one. Uh, plus, it will be a good idea always to check for such a node. So don't trust 
Dynamo completely. Just go ahead and just go 3.3.7 3 and add that to 6.6 6, and then multiply that by 2. So this is the per meter, which is 100% correct. So you don't need to worry about it. So uh, I'm just going to go and select this guy and hit G. Or you can just change the thing, you know, change the name of this node itself. And I will use maybe uh, uh, plan a single podium first. Single plan per meter. That's a good thing to find. Now that's for a single, <clears throat> sorry, that's for a single plan. Now you have to multiply that by the uh, amount of levels you have. So again, A, a by B or A multiplied by B where A is a single plan per meter and then you multiply that by the amount of levels you have. So where is it? I have podium levels which is 2. I'm going to connect that. So help me God that will be podium uh, or all podium Podium all, I don't know how to call it, uh, plans per meter. Now, I think I was just saying that I was making the elevation, and for some reason I made this. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, to now make the elevations, uh, I think I need again A by B. Now I'm just gonna A multiplied by B where A again is the single per meter that's what I was supposed to do in the beginning and then I forgot what I was talking about as usual and then the height of the overall so we need to know uh, how many levels again this one and then multiply by the height of each one of them so this one beautiful so that's the overall area of the elevation so you can know how much material you need uh, for glazing or uh, whatever whatever finishes you can use for the podium this is the overall podium uh, let's call it uh, elevation area and it's also measured in a square meter so that is guys that's really uh, really useful for you to know to get this all inputs right now in the beginning and it will be a very powerful tool if you connect each one of those to the actual material price and that can give you you know whenever you select any object any shape you know any 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 boundary for a, a, a an area or the site and immediately it will tell you based on your setback how much actually you will uh, it actually will cost to build this podium and how much area and how much volume and all this detail that we're going to find for the podium and also for the tower it will be really awesome and then all you have to do in this case uh, that would of course that done for the for the podium you're going to get drag that copy down and repeat the whole steps guys for uh, the uh, tower itself and connect you know instead of the other one up there you connect this one uh, to the to the to the <clears throat> surface builder here by patch and the same thing you use the levels and the heights that we have for the towers to define how many towers and the volume and the area and the elevation for it uh, i'm going to leave that for you guys it's a straightforward exercise anyway and I wish that you find this, uh, this uh, video useful. Thank you again for watching me and have a good day. Bye-bye.